what it takes for a nuclear war to begin. The specter of nuclear war has loomed over humanity since the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. The devastation wrought by these weapons was unprecedented, and their existence has since shaped international relations, military strategies, and the collective consciousness of the world. But what would it take for a nuclear war to begin in today's context? This question, fraught with complexity and peril, involves a mixture of political decisions, military strategies, technological capabilities, and human factors. Historical Context and Deterrence to understand what it takes for a nuclear war to start, we must first consider the doctrine of deterrence that has prevented such a catastrophe for nearly eight decades. The Cold War era between the United States and the Soviet Union was marked by a strategy known as Mutually Assured Destruction MAD. This doctrine held that any nuclear attack by one superpower would result in a devastating retaliatory strike by the other, ensuring the complete annihilation of both the attacker and the defender. The sheer destructiveness of nuclear weapons thus created a powerful deterrent against their use. However, deterrence is not foolproof. Miscommunication, technological errors, or misinterpretation of actions could potentially lead to a nuclear conflict. The Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 is a prime example where the world teetered on the brink of nuclear war due to a combination of political brinksmanship and miscommunication. It was only through careful negotiation and the willingness of both sides to step back that disaster was averted. Political Decisions The initiation of a nuclear war requires a political decision at the highest levels of government. This decision would likely be influenced by several factors. 1. Perceived imminent threat. If a nation believes that an adversary is about to launch a nuclear attack, it might consider a preemptive strike as a necessary act of self-defense. This perception can be influenced by intelligence reports, satellite imagery, or even the movements of military forces. Case study, in September 1983, the Soviet Union's early warning systems detected what appeared to be an incoming missile strike from the United States. Lieutenant Colonel Stanislav Petrov, the officer on duty, chose not to report the alarm to his superiors, suspecting it was a false alarm. His decision, which was later confirmed to be correct, prevented a possible retaliatory nuclear strike. 2. Escalation of conventional conflicts. A conventional war between nuclear-armed states could escalate to the nuclear level if one side feels it is losing and decides to use nuclear weapons as a last resort. This was a significant concern during the Cold War and remains relevant today in regions like South Asia, where India and Pakistan both possess nuclear arsenals. Case study. During the Kargil War in 1999, tensions between India and Pakistan escalated dramatically. Both nations were on high alert, and there were fears that the conflict could escalate to a nuclear exchange. Diplomatic intervention, primarily by the United States, helped to escalate the situation and prevent a potential nuclear catastrophe. 3. Political leadership and decision-making. The personality and decision-making style of political leaders play a crucial role. More risk-averse leaders might seek diplomatic solutions even in tense situations, whereas more aggressive or impulsive leaders could be more prone to considering nuclear options. Military strategies. Military strategies and doctrines also play a critical role in the potential for nuclear war. Several countries have developed specific doctrines regarding the use of nuclear weapons. 1. First strike versus second strike. A first strike capability refers to the ability to launch a nuclear attack that significantly degrades the opponent's ability to retaliate. Conversely, a second strike capability ensures that even after being hit by a nuclear attack, a country can respond with its devastating counterstrike. Maintaining credible second strike capabilities is crucial for deterrence. 2. Launch on warning. Some nuclear strategies involve launching a retaliatory strike upon detecting an incoming nuclear attack but before it hits. This requires highly reliable detection and communication systems. False alarms in these systems, however, could trigger accidental nuclear launches, as nearly happened in 1983 when a Soviet early warning system falsely reported a U.S. missile launch. 
3. Nuclear posture and readiness. The readiness level of nuclear forces also affects the likelihood of nuclear war. High alert statuses increase the risk of rapid escalation, while lower alert levels provide more time for verification and decision-making. Technological capabilities. Technological factors cannot be overlooked. The sophistication and reliability of nuclear arsenals, delivery systems, and detection mechanisms all influence the potential for nuclear conflict. 1. Cybersecurity threats. The increasing integration of digital systems in nuclear command and control raises concerns about cyber attacks. A successful cyber intrusion could disrupt communication, provide false information, or even trigger an unintended launch. 2. Advancements in missile defense. Missile defense systems are designed to intercept and destroy incoming nuclear missiles. While they can provide a sense of security, they may also prompt adversaries to develop more advanced offensive capabilities to bypass these defenses, potentially leading to an arms race. Long-term consequences. The development and deployment of missile defense systems can destabilize the strategic balance between nuclear armed states. If one country perceives that its nuclear deterrent is compromised by an adversary's missile defense, it may be tempted to develop more sophisticated offensive capabilities or increase the size of its nuclear arsenal. This can lead to an arms race, as each side seeks to outdo the other in both offensive and defensive capabilities. Additionally, reliance on missile defense systems could give a false sense of security, potentially lowering the threshold for nuclear use in a conflict. 3. Artificial Intelligence the incorporation of AI in military decision-making processes could either enhance stability by improving decision accuracy or destabilize it if AI systems misinterpret data and escalate conflicts. Human factors Ultimately, human factors remain the most unpredictable element in the equation. Decisions made under stress, misinterpretations of intent, and breakdowns in communication can all contribute to the onset of nuclear war. The human element was starkly illustrated in 1983 when Soviet Lieutenant Colonel Stanislav Petrov chose not to report what he suspected to be a false alarm of a U.S. missile launch, thereby preventing a potential nuclear war. The initiation of a nuclear war involves a complex interplay of political decisions, military strategies, technological capabilities, and human factors. While the doctrine of deterrence has so far prevented such a catastrophe, the potential for miscalculations, technological failures, and impulsive decisions remains. Understanding these factors is crucial for maintaining global peace and preventing the unthinkable. The lessons of history, coupled with continuous diplomatic efforts and technological safeguards, are vital in ensuring that nuclear weapons remain a deterrent rather than a tool of war. Maintaining international dialogue and cooperation is essential to prevent nuclear war. Robust communication channels, diplomatic efforts, and technological safeguards are vital to ensure that nuclear weapons remain a deterrent rather than a tool of war. The lessons of history and the ongoing development of international norms and agreements are crucial in navigating the precarious balance of nuclear deterrence in the modern world. The potential implications of incorporating artificial intelligence in military decision-making processes the integration of artificial intelligence AI, in military decision-making processes promises to revolutionize the way armed forces operate, from strategic planning to battlefield tactics. However, this transformative technology brings with it a host of potential implications, both positive and negative. Understanding these implications is crucial as militaries around the world increasingly look to AI to enhance their capabilities. Positive Implications 1. Enhanced decision-making speed and accuracy. AI can process vast amounts of data quickly and accurately, providing military leaders with timely and precise information. This capability can lead to more informed and faster decision-making in complex and rapidly changing situations. For instance, AI systems can analyze satellite images, surveillance data, and other intelligence inputs to identify potential threats and suggest optimal responses in real time. 2. Improved predictive analytics. AI's ability to recognize patterns and predict future events can be invaluable in military strategy. 
Predictive analytics can help in foreseeing enemy movements, anticipating logistical needs, and planning resource allocation. This foresight can give militaries a significant strategic advantage, enabling proactive rather than reactive measures. 3. Enhanced operational efficiency. AI can streamline various military operations by automating routine tasks, optimizing supply chains, and improving maintenance schedules for equipment. This can lead to cost savings, increased operational efficiency, and the freeing up of human resources for more complex tasks that require human judgment and creativity. 4. Advanced Autonomous Systems The development of autonomous drones, vehicles, and robotic systems can reduce the risk to human soldiers by taking on dangerous missions. These AI-powered systems can conduct reconnaissance, deliver supplies, and even engage in combat under certain conditions, thus minimizing human casualties and enhancing mission effectiveness. If you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Negative Implications 1. Risk of Misinterpretation and Error AI systems, despite their advanced capabilities, are not infallible. They can misinterpret data, especially in the chaotic and unpredictable environments typical of military operations. Errors in AI decision-making could lead to unintended consequences, such as misidentifying targets or misjudging the severity of a threat, potentially resulting in unnecessary escalation or civilian casualties. 2. Ethical and Legal Concerns the use of AI in military operations raises significant ethical and legal questions. Autonomous weapons systems, for instance, challenge existing frameworks of accountability and responsibility. Determining who is responsible for the actions of an AI system, whether it's the developers, operators, or the machine itself, remains a contentious issue. Furthermore, the potential for AI to be used in ways that violate international humanitarian laws and human rights is a serious concern. 3. Cybersecurity Vulnerabilities AI systems are susceptible to cyber attacks, which could compromise their functionality or lead to malicious actions. A hacked AI system could be manipulated to provide false information, disrupt military operations, or even turn autonomous weapons against friendly forces. Ensuring the cybersecurity of AI systems is therefore paramount. 4. Arms Race and Escalation The integration of AI into military systems could trigger an arms race among nations seeking to develop superior AI capabilities. This competition could lead to an escalation of military tensions and increase the likelihood of conflict. Moreover, the rapid development and deployment of AI technologies might outpace the establishment of international norms and regulations, creating a volatile and unpredictable global security environment. 5. Loss of Human Oversight As AI systems become more advanced and autonomous, there is a risk of diminishing human oversight in critical military decisions. Reliance on AI could lead to a reduction in human judgment and accountability, potentially resulting in decisions that lack the nuance and ethical considerations that human deliberation provides. Ensuring that humans remain in control and accountable for AI-driven decisions is crucial to maintaining ethical standards in military operations. The incorporation of artificial intelligence in military decision-making processes offers significant potential benefits, including enhanced decision-making speed and accuracy, improved predictive analytics, operational efficiency, and the development of advanced autonomous systems. However, it also brings considerable risks, such as the potential for errors and misinterpretation, ethical and legal challenges, cybersecurity vulnerabilities, the risk of an arms race, and the loss of human oversight. Balancing these benefits and risks requires careful consideration, robust regulatory frameworks, and ongoing international dialogue. Ensuring that AI is developed and deployed in a manner that enhances security while adhering to ethical principles and legal standards is crucial for the responsible integration of this powerful technology into military operations. Technological Advancements Increasing the Risk of Accidental Nuclear Conflict 
Recent technological advancements have both enhanced military capabilities and introduced new risks, particularly concerning accidental nuclear conflict. Some specific advancements that could potentially increase these risks include 1. Artificial intelligence in early warning systems. AI is increasingly being integrated into early warning systems that detect potential nuclear threats. While AI can process vast amounts of data quickly, there is a risk of misinterpretation or errors in judgment. An AI system might misidentify a non-threatening event, like a satellite launch, as an incoming missile, leading to a false alarm and a potential retaliatory strike. The complexity of AI decision-making and the difficulty of human oversight during fast-moving crises heighten the risk of accidental escalation. 2. Cybersecurity Vulnerabilities The digitization of nuclear command and control systems has introduced significant cybersecurity risks. State and non-state actors could potentially launch cyber attacks to disable or manipulate these systems. A cyber intrusion could lead to false alarms, disrupt communication between military leaders, or even trigger an unauthorized launch. The Stuxnet virus, which targeted Iran's nuclear facilities in 2010, demonstrated the potential of cyber attacks to cause significant disruptions, though on a different scale. 3. Hypersonic Weapons Hypersonic missiles, which travel at speeds greater than five times the speed of sound, are a new class of weapons that can evade traditional missile defense systems. Their rapid speed reduces the time available for decision-making, increasing the likelihood of rushed or mistaken responses. The deployment of hypersonic weapons by multiple nations could create a situation where the margin for error is minimal, potentially leading to an accidental nuclear exchange. 4. Automated Decision-Making Systems Some nations are exploring the use of automated systems to aid in nuclear decision-making. While these systems could theoretically reduce human error, they also introduce new risks. If these systems misinterpret data or are fed incorrect information, they could make catastrophic decisions without sufficient human oversight. The complexity and opacity of these systems can also make it difficult for decision-makers to fully understand their recommendations, increasing the risk of accidental conflict. Geopolitical Shifts and the Emergence of New Nuclear Armed States Geopolitical shifts and the emergence of new nuclear armed states have significantly impacted the dynamics of nuclear deterrence, increasing the potential for nuclear conflict in several ways. 1. Regional Power Shifts the rise of regional powers with nuclear capabilities, such as North Korea and potentially Iran, has introduced new dynamics into global nuclear deterrence. These states often perceive nuclear weapons as essential to their security and as a means to deter more powerful adversaries. The unpredictability of these regimes, combined with their relative isolation, increases the risk of miscalculations that could lead to nuclear conflict. Two. Multipolar Nuclear World The Cold War's bipolar nuclear world, dominated by the United States and the Soviet Union, has given way to a more complex multipolar landscape. In addition to the traditional nuclear powers, US, Russia, China, France, and the UK, countries like India, Pakistan, and North Korea have developed nuclear arsenals. The complexity of maintaining deterrence in a multipolar world, where multiple states with varying interests and security concerns possess nuclear weapons, increases the risk of miscommunication and escalation. 3. Proliferation Concerns The potential for nuclear proliferation in volatile regions adds another layer of risk. If more countries acquire nuclear weapons, the chances of a nuclear conflict, whether accidental or intentional, increase. The spread of nuclear technology also raises the risk of these weapons falling into the hands of non-state actors, who might not adhere to traditional notions of deterrence and could use nuclear weapons without warning. 4. Shifts in Alliances and Power Structures Geopolitical shifts, such as the rise of China and the relative decline of U.S. influence, have altered traditional power structures and alliances. These shifts can lead to new security dilemmas, where states feel compelled to enhance their nuclear arsenals or adopt more aggressive postures to maintain their security. 
For example, tensions in the South China Sea and the Indo-Pacific region have led to increased military posturing between nuclear-armed states, raising the risk of accidental or deliberate conflict. Diplomatic initiatives to prevent escalation of conventional conflicts to the nuclear level. Several diplomatic initiatives and measures are currently in place to prevent the escalation of conventional conflicts between nuclear-armed states to the nuclear level. 1. Hotlines and Direct Communication Channels Many nuclear-armed states have established direct communication lines, hotlines, to ensure quick and clear communication during crises. For instance, the US and Russia maintain a hotline established during the Cold War to prevent accidental nuclear war. These channels are designed to reduce the risk of miscommunication and provide a means for de-escalation. Nuclear Risk Reduction Centers NRRCs. The US and Russia operate nuclear risk reduction centers, which facilitate the exchange of information on nuclear activities and help implement arms control agreements. These centers play a crucial role in maintaining transparency and reducing the risk of misunderstandings that could lead to nuclear conflict. 3. Confidence Building Measures CBMs. Confidence-building measures, such as joint military exercises, regular diplomatic dialogues, and transparency initiatives, help reduce the risk of accidental or inadvertent escalation. For example, India and Pakistan have engaged in CBMs to prevent misunderstandings during military exercises and to reduce the risk of conflict. 4. Arms Control Agreements Arms control treaties, such as the New START Treaty between the US and Russia, aim to limit the number of deployed nuclear warheads and delivery systems. These agreements reduce the overall risk of nuclear conflict by capping the size of arsenals and promoting transparency and verification measures. 5. International Non-Proliferation Efforts The Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons NPT, remains a cornerstone of global efforts to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons. Diplomatic initiatives under the NPT framework, including disarmament negotiations and non-proliferation assistance, aim to prevent new states from acquiring nuclear weapons and reduce existing arsenals. 6. Track 2 Diplomacy Track 2 Diplomacy involves informal and non-governmental dialogue between experts, former officials, and academics from nuclear-armed states. These dialogues can help build mutual understanding, reduce tensions, and explore creative solutions to prevent escalation. They often complement official diplomatic efforts and provide alternative channels for communication. The potential for accidental nuclear conflict has increased with recent technological advancements, such as AI in early warning systems and hypersonic weapons. Geopolitical shifts and the emergence of new nuclear-armed states have added complexity to global nuclear deterrence, heightening the risk of miscalculations in conflict. However, various diplomatic initiatives, from hotlines to arms control agreements, play a critical role in preventing the escalation of conventional conflicts to the nuclear level. Maintaining and strengthening these diplomatic measures is essential to ensuring global stability and preventing the unthinkable consequences of nuclear war. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Remember to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.